Oh, there we go. Huh. That's clearly a good find. Oh, there's the drop of the day, people. There's the drop of the day. Oh. Curial shell. 189, I think I have bet already. In fact, I know I've got an ethereal one somewhere. Oculus. I just think I have enough of them. Let's have a look at that grand charm. Oh, here we go. And we want, oh, a storm shield. Well, again, like the Oculus, good drop, but I have more than enough of them. Turn Reaver. And actually a pretty ordinary one at that. Oh, unique amulet. Off a normal monster. Unique amulet is. Seraph's him. Oh, vampire gaze. Geez, what a day. Vampire gaze. 8% lifesteal, 16% damage reduction. Hand axe. Oh, it's not the Nasher again, is it? Oh. Jewel there. Oh, a rainbow facet jewel. Rainbow facet jewel is. Minus 3-5 lightning level up jewel. Small charm again. Oh, there we go. 7% magic find small charm. I've been recently using the Call to Arms Phase Blade for its battle orders. I've had a couple of rather silly deaths because I couldn't distinguish between a Heart of the Oak Flail and a Call to Arms double axe I had. So I bought in the Phase Blade which meant this character did not have enough dexterity. But I was able to fix that by using a Sanctuary Troll Nest which I had. But then I found I had a three socket caress shield. All resistance is 44, so I'm going to make the rune word sanctuary, and that we will take whatever we get. So here we go 108. So 44 up to 108. We got 64 on the shield. That's yet another good roll for the rune word sanctuary for me. And we have resistances somewhat pleasantly, more or less maxed on switch. Alright, I'm just running Smiple to try and get uh, some, get him up to level 96. I've got about 20 minutes spare, but that's dropped. This is either my 6th or 7th Griffin's Eye. Let's have a look at the roll. A rare drop, but now when I get Griffin's Eye, I'm mindful that it's the same level of rar rarity as Templar's Might, that I've yet to see. Is that the pluck eye? Ah. Oh. oh, a legendary mallet. I have only one Schaefer's hammer. I've got numerous stone crushers. This one is yet another stone crusher. Okay. Unique amulet. Unique amulet is Mara's Kaleidoscope. Well, that's about my third one in the past few weeks. There's a great polax. Unsocketed, ethereal, great polax. In the same drop with the Mara's. Uh, oh, we got two. Um, Oh, not ethereal. Rex has got a pretty decent pair. Oh, a, a war pike. Oh, there's the steel pillar. Well, there's a rarity. Small charm. Okay, that's probably well. I think the steel pillar's rarer, but there is a seven percent magic fine small charm. 
Oh, Headhunter's Glory. How many sockets? How many what resistances? Three sockets. Six life per kill. That's a decent one, I think. So good. There's the best, well, not a great drop, but the best of the morning so far. It's a near perfect pair of Silkweave boots. 187 out of 190. Small charm. Oh, there we go. So that's probably the best drop of the morning there. 8 to life, lightning resistance 11%. Uh, there's an unusual one. Not, um, oh, it's a ethereal one though. There's the bone flame. Yeah, there it is. Defense bonus. I could put it there, I suppose. We're handling, we've got enough defense, let's do that. Oh, face blade. Oh, hang on, it has to be lightsaber. <laughs> ah, okay, has to be, has to be lightsaber, doesn't it? Because Pindleskin cannot drop Azure Wrath. 154 is actually pretty ordinary, I have better than, okay. I did think, just for a moment there, Azure Wrath. No, can't drop it. Tell Rasher Armor, people. There's a good find. 907 is certainly better than what I've got. Oh, Headhunter's Glory. One socket, we will immediately ditch. Though, mind you, oh, no, not even the resistances are great. Oh, Harlequin Crest, there we go. Ah, dear me. Oh, is that, sorry, is that an ethereal one? Another ethereal one? It is too. That's about a 122 base. Run 39,723. Oh, unique amulet. Unique amulet is. Mara's Kaleidoscope. 27. All resistances, Mara's Kaleidoscope. This is going to turn nasty in a moment. Here she comes. What do we do? We... What, oh, she's dead already? What? Oh. That wasn't even an effort. That was it? God, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see Andariel go down. Oh, unique ring. A unique ring. <laughs> okay. In fact, it's one I could well use. Right, the unique ring is... 21 nasal ring. Chain boots, Osiris boots. What's on them? Is it fire resistance, isn't it? Well, of all the convenient things to... Oh, no. All right, there's eight of them. Eight Ethrunes for the day. Let's do that. We won't worry about rescuing the barb, given we've already got the rune. Let's do that. That's looking healthier. That's looking a lot healthier. Let's see what Enya gives us. Because we have um, lightning 26 fire 13. I think we're going to use that. Oh, lightning and cold. Lightning and fire. We're a bit down on coal, but if we do that, drop some fire up the coal, I think we'll go with that one. We've got a stack of fire resistance. Uh, now there's a surprise. I wouldn't have even thought that was possible. 7% mana steel, 8% is perfect. I think I have a lot of them now, but there's a perfect small charm for lightning resistance. Oh, War Travellers! We get... 
Okay, it's not such a bad drop though. Three uniques and two sets, but there's a guardian angel. 781. Oh, a steel skull. Okay, what magic find do we get? 43. Well, all things to get. Or oh, 57 to life. Fire, I think we're going to have that one. We're going to get it. There it is. There's the next level. Let's have a look at that pike. Oh, ethereal pike. Two socket ethereal pike. Right, there's our basis for strength, people. Um, casting it all. Oh, just like that. We got a rare ring. Oh, nine to strength, sixteen to work. At least hang on to it. Let's go with the gloves. Some decent resistances, I think, won't go astray. What you need? Oh, wonderful. Oh, the Venom Ward. Well, out of a chest at that. Okay, well, we don't need it. We'll sell it when we get back to town, but... Um. Oh. Well, it's not the sort of coincidence I enjoy, but there's uh, Eisenhart's case. It's a combination of uselessness, I think. Oh, there we are. <laughs> not quite the where I expected it, but um, there we've got it. Ammon, Tur. That... Perhaps we've got a bit more. It doesn't matter. I'm grateful to get it. And there's a Hawk Helm. Now, the Hawk Helm. Plus one to Druid skills. But do I want to drop uh, Cold and Lightning resistance? Bahamut's Bone Wand of Enlightenment. Geez, look at the boost of mana on that. That's cheap. We'll have that. I think the Least Staff people's about had its day, but well, how much? That's virtually dabble. I think we'll sell the Least Staff, folk. Okay. Now let's go start an, a Nightmare game. One in Raven, one in Oak Sage, summon Spirit Wolf, summon Dire Wolf, summon Grizzly. We're now going to become a Wind Druid. So one Arctic Blast, one in Cyclone Armor, Twister, Tornado, Hurricane. Let's put Maximize Tornado. We go 8, 8, 10. All right, let's do it this way. Let's go another couple in Cyclone Armor. Let's go another couple in Summoning. That'll leave us six to go into Hurricane. And we'll, so then we'll just bump up Cyclone Armor and um, Oak Sage, then Hurricane, and then Twister after that. Let's do it that way. Where we need to put points? Strength. Deck. Let's leave it at that. Teleportation. What have we got? 64,000. Oh, we're having that, definitely. Right, let's put that wand away, but we're going to go with the teleport stuff there. One caster one. Right, here we go. No skills, but 22 magic fine and 9%, 89 mana, that's going to give us, we're, only, we're going to drop 5 magic fine, get, we're going to take that one. That's a sizable boost to mana though. Here we go. Do we get 2 sockets? Do we get useful skills? Oh, th 2 to hurricane, but 3 sockets. Grand charm. Right, well, there's, that's not bad, we're going to change those over. I'll show you the gear. Sanders wand, I've found that twice. Uh, that Wonder Druid Skills Helm, Crafted Amulet, Ancient's Pledge, Osiris Boots, we can, that ring, and it might have been the one that Akara gave us. Crafted Belt with 10% fast cast, did well there. Cold Resistance Ring, and these are a set of imbued gloves. On Switch, I bought a teleport staff after getting rid of the leaf. Mercenary has an Ethereal Strength Pike. A two socket crown, a three socket light plate, which I've yet to put anything in. Had that been two sockets, I would have made lore in it. And we've got that one, which I may hang on to. Amulet. Oh, set amulet. Can't imagine which one would be useful to us. Set amulet is. 
Well, that's probably the rarest drop he's had. Arcana's sign's very hard to get. It's about got it. Here, here we go. Now that's going straight on the mercenary. 103 is actually pretty ordinary defense. Why can't he use it? Required level 66. Oh, you've got to be joking. Okay, let's find that. Durial, quest drop. Well, it's not all that rare. About one in 900. Let's put a Rail Rune in it. A Thol Rune in it. That'll save some space. Let's put an Oort Rune in there. All right, Eric has piqued my interest there. Let's uh, go to the Discord. People, I'll show you what we've got here. This is off stream. I'm doing some shopping for wands. I would ideally like a Bahamut's Grim Wand of the Magus, but there is a Coral Bone Wand of the Magus that would give us an extra 25% lightning resistance. And compared to the Sanders Wand, we would lose 25 mana. We will buy that wand. We now have much healthier lightning resistance. Oh, unique amulet. The unique amulet is Crescent Moon. And I've certainly used this amulet on my Lightning Amazon. My eye was initially on the uh, Ammon Room there, and I cannot think I've ever got a better item out of these Axe 3 side quest areas that are also Treasure Class 85. Well, if that only had two sockets. And Ermin had found it. Oh, gee. 146.40.12. I don't think we're going to do too much better than that. But out of a chest at that. 119.34.11. I think it's worse in every regard. That is potentially uh, Ermin's Call to Arms. I have been running Drogden for about 35 minutes with the television on here. I've turned the television off and I've turned the microphone back on. So there is a Bahamut's Bone Wand of the Magus. It's got a Necromancer skill. It would be a lot cheaper if it did not have the plus one to decrepify, but uh, I think that will do. I think we can replace the Sanders Wand. And a reminder, I bought that one earlier in the day. Probably used that one. I just wondered how long it would take to get what I think is an ideal wand for a wind druid relying on cast rate. Okay. Yet another one. Apart from the fact that's dropped from Diablo, that's almost useful. But I'm not certain it has enough magic fine, but we may give that to shock a lot to roll, given its item level. Interesting. Q's Guardian. 57. I think we can do without. Set amulet. Set amulet is. I can assign again. Run 39,937. Well, there's a rarity that I don't particularly need. There is Natalia's mark. Heard something. Oh, sapphire. Let's have a look at the small. Oh, here we go. 20 life small charm. All right, people, here we go. Run 40,000. Oh, really? Oh, 10% fast cast. Right, so what we will do, we will clearly exchange that one for that one. Death mask. Three socket death mask. Now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. 
Gem shrine. Right, got it. Right. Okay, here we go. We get 17. Right, okay. But that's something we can do for hell level. I'll hang on to that, but I don't know why. Well, I'll show people the map to Mephisto. You can see the waypoints over there, but you can see it's an enormous job to get to here. This would be an easy jump with the teleport stuff, but uh, to actually get by the map takes a bit of doing. They will flesh it out, but okay, after running all around that map, we got a gold rune anyway, so I'm, I suppose that made the trip worthwhile. Ooh. Sandstorm Flex. We'll put those away, but I don't think they're going to... I have two ethereal pairs, and I don't think they're going to make the grade somehow.